Hey there, Bourbon Street Joe here. Back with another 24-hour Tuesday. Thought I'd switch it up and go back to a ration this week. Um, I've got two in my collection. Um, and I've just been, as I mentioned last time, going through my collection. So I have sort of rediscovered these. Um, and this one has most of the writing rubbed off. Uh, but it is an Estonian. 24 hour ration. Menu number two. Uh, and again, uh, it doesn't have actually English and um, Estonian on it, but um, due to the poor condition of it, uh, I will have to provide a translation or I've got it written down what it actually is, the menu, but uh, yeah. So this is going to be a surprise to, uh, well, to all of us, really. Um, and it's a little, a little grease on the back. I don't know if it's coming from the ration or whether it was something else in the container or, or the tote, I should say. Uh, but she weighs in at uh, 1,570 grams. 71 or a three pounds a seven and a half ounces thereabouts um, yeah like I said I I uh, I think we should just get into it because uh, again I'm not entirely 100% sure what what the menu is or um, I mean, what the heck's in this uh, that looked like a tear notch but uh, not so much We're in. Um, yeah, so again, Estonia. Uh, um, ooh, seems like a plethora of. And smells vaguely um, fruity in there, which is probably a good indication that hopefully, whatever that. We got some of that, which is obviously some sort of meat spread or pate. Uh, best before 2019. So it was a manufacture date of 2015. So this is going to be an oldie but a goodie. Again, a disinfection swab. One. We have some adventure food. Expedition breakfast. Eat out of the boat one portion. Add water ready in 10 minutes. Uh, dehydrated food. Cereals with fruit and hazelnuts. Best before. 24th day, 8th month, 2019. So, nutritional information are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 languages. Hmm. Turning out interesting anyway. Swiss Army with caffeine and guarana. So obviously a caffeinated chocolate bar. Milk chocolate. Best for 2019. Nice. I've seen those for sale on eBay. They're bloody expensive. Um, some lemon tea. Some Orifo peach flavored energy powder. These are neat on that one. And, uh, 45 grams. Uh, some kind of I would say they're like gel bit, jelly bits. Hmm. All right. We have some sulased cricrid, cricrid. Hmm. Plastic bag, and that is oily as hell.
Yeah, that is coated in oil. So obviously something has leaked in here. No, it does not appear to be this. Whatever that is. Looks like meatballs. And another disinfection swap. But that does not appear to be the source of the grease either. Sugar. Another sugar. A. Coffee bag. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of oil there though. Gotta be off of something. Another sugar. Got some pepper. Third and a fourth disinfection swamp. Some more of that, which I'm assuming is a crisp bread of some sort. Another one. Uh, the sugar. Vanilla halva. Oh, that's probably the culprit right there. Bah, 30 grams of something. Yeah, like it's oily, but it's not like it's not a rancid smell. It's just oily. Salt, both of which are probably been compromised by the oil. Coffee creamer, which is crunchy, crunchy. Same matches. Uh, probably wooden. Yeah. Uh, brown tip. And that's your 24 hour Estonian. Menu number two. Hmm. All right, well. Let's get uh, that heated up and um, see if we can make some uh, meal here. Meals here. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So, made our peach drink. Um, pretty standard Orifo, Orifio, however you pronounce it. Um, very artificial peach scent. Uh, we got our coffee going over here. It's It called for one to two, sorry, 10 to 20 deciliters. So 100 to 200 mils of water. Uh, this is tea, I don't think I could screw it up, but eh. Our uh, adventure food was 170 mils of water. Uh, it just said pour, stir, and sit, which it has done and now looks Pretty much like cement. With all these chunks of hazelnuts in it. Hmm. There's absolutely no off smells in this. Um, a big ass berry of some sort, blueberry maybe. Um, there are pieces of ground hazelnut in here. Mmm, the berry is quite nice. Oat flakes, milk powder, coconut oil, sugar, wheat flakes, hazelnuts, apples, salt, sunflower. Oh, they're raisins. There's really big raisins. Mmm, it's quite good. It's not too sweet. Mmm, thankfully the milk powder has not gone off. Um, I just got the the second tin heating behind me on the stove. Um, the crackers, uh, I did get a translation, they're just saltine crackers. Uh, however, they are rancid as all get out, so not going to be trying those, even though they'd be going pretty good with this, because this is nice and creamy and smooth, and uh, I'll get a shot of that and 
stick it up here. <laughs> Very metallic tasting. Having said that, it's past due by about four years. And probably liver, so meh, that's fine. Um, I opened both packages of whatever these things are. Um, one is very much so greasy compared to the other one. I mean, this one's a bit greasy, but this one is just shiny. Um, they taste exactly the same. They're um, got fruit button, I guess, if you will. They're just made from a pureed fruit. Fruit leather, fruit roll up, what have you. And it tastes fine. Um, our peach drink. Again, it's pretty standard. Um, it's good though. I mean, it's not Norwegian Arctic ration good, but uh, pretty tasty. Our lemon tea. Obviously, a black tea. Um, I don't really get a lot of lemon in that, but mm, our coffee, which. Uh, I must admit, I got high hopes for it. Um, I hope. Highly. It smells like black coffee. Very mild. Not at all bitter. It's quite tasty, actually. Um, I went with 200 mils. Um, I will use a disinfection swab, which is surprisingly moist. Um, I think it's 70% ethanol, 1% glycol. Yeah, that's super wet. Super wet. And, oh, yeah, she smells like... Smells like potato water. Most of you'll get that reference. Some of you won't. That's fine. Um, yeah, so let's get the mains up here and um, finish this off, shall we? Okay, so this is that, which was meatballs with potatoes. And this bottom one was that which is beef with I believe it was buckwheat um, pretty good looking I mean the uh, meatballs are not a bad size kind of bouncy yeah, yeah. anyway um, I'm not sure why it said Swedish or Sweden I don't know if it's a and some weird link because it's meatballs I, I, I don't know but they're not bad. Potatoes are... They're not mashed, but... They're not providing a lot of texture, really, so... They're pretty good. Beef and buckwheat. Um, I 
That does not taste anything like the Ukrainian one I had. Um, and it's pretty bland. A little pepper. Yeah, all the pepper. Um, the salt. Like I said, I, I think it was compromised just because it looks like bloody oily, but yeah, it's soft. So it's, it's so pourable, or some of it is, maybe. Wow, okay. Let's try with a bit of that. Considering how old that pepper is, it's actually got a bit of a kick to it still. Um, I did have a sugar too. I was gonna try because you can see it's kind of kind of translucent there. So I think it's again, it's been kind of <clears throat> partially compromised by the oil from the halva, which is usually either made with shimichi. I think they, that's how they pronounce it in Russian. It's either sunflower seeds or peanuts. Could be either. The grain's not too bad on that. Add a bit to our coffee. A bit to our tea. almost has like a bit of a floral taste to it even though it's only supposed to be lemon tea coffee's good either way didn't need the sugar but um, happy to add it and then the culprit which actually just kind of smells like vanilla so but it's um, those of you that never had halva before, it's a very. Uh, I just want to do this without making a heck of a mess. <sighs> Small piece. So it's very, um, obviously, very fragile. Right? Just kind of crumbles apart. It doesn't have a lot of structure to it. Um, can seem kind of grainy in the mouth, I guess is the best way to describe it. And it sticks to your teeth. But considering when it's done to everything else in the ration, that's fine. Tastes like vanilla. If it is even a vanilla flavored halva, or I'm just getting that. Honestly, the scent of the crackers is pretty overwhelming because they're just they're down there and whew, nasty. Um, obviously, not high hopes for this because the packaging is itself compromised, of course. But I've never tried this one before, and it is a milk, so. Considering that's not bad. Not super bloomed. Nice break on it. Give it a try. Hmm. Okay, so that actually, those bits are something. Like, hmm. It's 
It's almost like when you get a Rice crispy, like a crunch bar, but yeah, that's fine too. I don't know what's in that, but mm, tasty. So, yeah, Estonian 24 hour ration. Plastic is very reminiscent of like an MRE, but it looks like the later, sort of the in between the thin black and the newer style of the Latvian packaging. There was a like a tan colored bag at one point. I'll get to my Latvian stuff, my early Latvian stuff. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so clean up and uh, package and. Uh, quick way be right back okay everything is cleaned up packaged up and uh, we're ready for our way up and then uh, that's it <clears throat> so there was a touch missing just because I didn't manage to throw everything out I got a couple of the wipes uh, and the sugars one the salt other than that it's all in here and uh, you're looking at about 254 grams of garbage or uh, 8.8, 8.9 ounce, or 9 ounces, roughly. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, that is an expired <laughs> Estonian 24-hour menu. Uh, I do have another one, uh, menu 6, I believe. Uh, might be seeing that later. Might not, don't know. Uh, all in all, pretty good. Um, again, it's, uh, it's out of date, what are you going to do? And... Uh, it was compromised due to the um, the hull of the leaking everywhere. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty big. Anyway, Bourbon Street Joe, I'm out. <laughs>